Um, now they don't need to talk to her every other sentence. Then if you don't talk to her every other sentence, then that means she don't love her. And it's just like, girl, Sarah, what is wrong with you, girl? You literally just started busting out crying. Your face not even moving while you crying, girl. You let you... <laughs> like, no, girl, it's not. Your lips finna bust open, bitch. Stop doing that. Like, the, fuck the, what the fuck is that, girl? What the fuck is that, girl? Your lips finna bust the fuck open. Why are you crying like that, girl? She just said, oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. Bitch, try again. Fuck, bitch. I'm gonna just get on my knees because I didn't crush the fuck out of this box. If y'all wanna see that Justin Cabaret's video, y'all need to go watch that. Because I need to fuck that box up. Back again, back to back, make back stacked. Okay, I'm gonna get a little closer because y'all really couldn't see me for that other video. I should have said like this. This is actually a lot better. What's going on, insane gang? This is me. I know y'all just watched my other video, so I'm back at it again. Let me really show y'all the outfit, you know. Always cute. You know, that's what we do. We are back at it again with a review video. Bitch, stream my motherfucking album. It comes out June 25th. I know y'all sent the intro clip. It's gonna be all about ass and shaking it. So if you got one, if you don't got one, if you got a flat one, a round one, a circle one, your booty go inward like a little curve. Girl, shake that motherfucker. Shake that motherfucker. Shake that motherfucker. So we in this motherfucking uh, video. We gonna go back. So now we got back to um the... Again, a conversation with Natalie and Christina about the same fucking thing that we already been talking about for the past four or five fucking episodes. This bitch is in this fucking hair and makeup. She already said she got a new hair and makeup team. So why are we still talking about this? They're obviously not going to be cool no more. And if they do be cool, it's obviously going to be fake because they didn't put their hands on each other. I'm sorry. I can't just fight no bitch and then walk around and be chummy with them like how they were just chummy at the motherfucking meeting. Like talking to each other, laughing. It's like that shit was just fake. Like this whole shit, this really episode kind of like really irritated me. That's why this review is going to be a little shorter because I did my bond job to have Ray, go watch that now. Just have a Ray gets busted. We's on there. We on the we on the other scene. I'm sorry. Just have a Ray is where it's at. Go watch that review video. Um, and stream my album. She like get your wigs snatched again, bitch. And then Natalie like sounds scripted as fuck. Like, bitch, bitch your fucking ass. La 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 la. I'll rock your shit, bitch. Like just it just sound weird. And it's like an awkward ass silence right after they start fighting with the scrummaging of the security. Everybody kind of just looking around because they like, you know, this is actually weird as fuck. Because you know the kind of they were just kind of talking, you know, in meetings and shit together. So it's just like. And I didn't want a donut or coffee. A little chop camera rate. Y'all want some sweat dabs. What, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to take five? Like, what's going on? Like, it's kind of weird. They say that um, she going to beat, she going to beat on Christina ass again for being sarcastic. And then Christina, like, acts, you know, like, they, they are the producer who is watching the whole time. Like, y'all guys have to have a conversation. Like, you have to get cool. Like, I don't understand why it has to be so much outside motherfucking dialogue for you grown ass bitches to get to a motherfucking storyline or whatever type of shit like figure out what y'all arguing about first before y'all try to do shit because now the producers have to keep getting into the scene if y'all gonna be actors be good actors like you see on like bitch on Josh Cabaret like, they don't have to act on one more chance they was like actually like you know mad at each other so like it made good television y'all just fucking like acting so y'all fucking producers have to be like uh bitch this is weird this is fucking awkward psst, psst, psst. it's awkward so that's when Christina Fake run up. Like she a motherfucking kung fu character or some shit. Bitch, 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 bitch. What the fuck is y'all doing, girl? Christina, girl, I know you not a motherfucker swinger like, girl. You is a motherfucker stairmaster, bitch. You from the hood, bitch. I know you don't swing like that. The f How you fake swing? What is y'all doing? Chop it up, girl. You. Girl, what? <laughs> Christina, girl, they got you on here. How, how much they pay you? How much they give you, Christina? Because you must. You must got a nice check, cause I don't even act. I don't even feel like this in your character to be foolish like this. Natalie, I see her, cause she scammed the bitches before. She don't give a fuck about a facade. That bitch don't do what she gotta do. But you, it's not coming out as as natural as Natalie's is. It's coming out really like, oh bitch, oh, she crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Then they talk about again about how about hair and makeup, and then Christina like, oh she got hair and makeup people now, and she got her own team, and then and Christina thought Natalie was her sister, that's why she thought she could come with her and be like, you know, uh, I thought you know you're my sister, so like I thought I could be like, yeah, let me get my hair and makeup. Like bitch, why do you feel like that? This is a hair and makeup artist with a motherfucking bill at the end of the month, just like the rest of us. So if that bitch didn't check a bag because of you, why do you think? Oh, Natalie, you're my sister. Can I give my... No. What's next? Bitch, no. He already said no. Why are y'all even arguing still? He already said that he wasn't going to do it. That's what took him in the end of the argument. Now y'all still fighting over this episode four. This whole thing has been about this one thing. He done had six motherfucking fights on motherfucking Jocelyn Cabaret. 
What the fuck is y'all doing? Y'all was the bad girl. This is embarrassing. Let me finish going so I can get this shit done so I can edit my shit. Josh Cabaret and my album. Don't forget to scream. Bo -va -va. Some y'all, they've been talking together for months, getting this shit together. Jocelyn, um, not Jocelyn, see? I'm thinking about the right shit. Ali is um, an EP and Christina can produce it so they need to do it. Then they hug and that shit was just really fucking fake. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, y'all just fake she fake ran up on you then you hug the bitch i understand if they argue and then they just hugged after but this bitch fake ran up on you that means she tried to snake you bitch you gonna go hug a bitch that just tried to snake you who who the fuck does that ever i'ma hug this bitch after she just tried to first fake make up and, and sit with me and try to swing on me now we gonna hug girl what who the why do they do that anywhere where do they do that anywhere? It don't even matter if you scary. You still, if a bitch, if, if you scary as hell and a bitch try to fake, fight you when y'all just get close to talk, I mean, why would I go hug this bitch after she just tried to fake run? Even if you one of the biggest, baddest bitch and y'all fall and then this bitch like, okay, let's be cool. You try to handshake a bitch, she try to swing on you. Why would I go hug this bitch? Why would I go hug this? So then that's when Natalie and Sarah were talking again. They say like, you know, they can't, it's they besties now because she keep getting cool with everybody. It's kind of giving that because you keep doing all this shit to make the show pop in. But now that all the buzz is here, y'all not directed in nowhere. So y'all still talking. You just had the same conversation with Sarah when you was getting her hair done. Now y'all back having the same conversation again that we just seen the other episode. So now Sarah all in her ass per use, acting like her guard dog. Do, do we get into it with them or not? Da -da 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 -da. Then they're happy that they can finally get stuff done. What's the stuff? Because y'all having a meeting, text asking about what y'all finna do next, and y'all happy about getting stuff done, but y'all don't know what the stuff is. Y'all have to have a meeting to talk about the production of the show. Is this going to be like y'all talking about the further season? Or y'all talking about right now? Because y'all got in a fucking meeting and just talked about war stories and shit. Y'all talking about y'all worst battles that y'all done had in y'all life and crying and shit. So y'all really didn't get shit done. Like, this is a fool. I'm sorry. So I go to Sid Seven and Sydney in the bathroom. And the Seven say like, you know, Sydney say that she got to watch out for Seven because she going to beat her ass. Like she know how Seven is. And bitch, yeah, I feel like Seven could be Sydney yeah, because she known for fighting big bitches. That's what she said, bitch. You searched up Seven and saw her wobble kiki big ass on the ground. And you know your ass fall. Bitch, you said flash. You you got you got the memo quick. I can't fight that bitch. I fall. The other bitch fall. She'll do me like I Yeah, I'm glad you got that Sydney. Respect Seven because she will pop you. Seven, like, um, oh, she not going to beat her ass. Why well, she don't think Tanisha going to beat her ass? And then I was like, that's a good question. Because you never know. Like, somebody might smack Sydney at any moment. Like, I don't know what the fuck she be doing. They going to do and, like, you know, what they mean about. And Sydney, like, you know, they should do sex toys. And then Seven, like, you know, she, that's, you know, that's a good idea. Because, you know, Seven is very sexual. And they know about, like, you know, being cute. Like, she was on with DDG and shit. So, like, I bet a lot of people would, like, you know, want to fuck with her and shit like that. So, yeah, a sex toy line would be, you know, lucrative for both of them. And then Sydney and transgender bitches. Transgender girls get their life. I'm sorry. Y'all might not think so. Y'all might think like Sydney a clown and all this shit. But off these cameras, that bitch is getting her life. I'm sorry. These niggas is going. No bad. So then that's when they ready for meeting and shit. And they all talking about what's going on. So then they hype Sydney in for coming in out of nowhere when this whole show they been kind of being shady towards her. But now all of a sudden they trying to hype her in when she walk in the room. When she kind of look regular as hell. I mean, it was a cute outfit. But like, it wasn't like, oh my God, Sydney. It was just like, you know, that's a cute, you know, outfit. Like for the thing. And that's when Sydney again does too much. She like, ah, da, 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 da. like, girl, shut the fuck up. And now they say, um, she want to do a baby's boot camp. And then she's like, oh, she want to do a talent show, which are both flop ideas. Bitch, this is the all-star battle and this is one of the fucking every other fucking season when they go on stage and she's like i want to be a rapper i want to be a dj i want to i want to make clothes like they do this shit every fucking season on baker club so how are y'all doing a spinoff exactly because this shit is kind of watered down let's just say that this is very watered down bad girls club very very like y'all put literally this much juice and this is the water and y'all pour the juice out bitch like this shit is a fool Sarah said, like, um, they stand on her ideas, basically, because, you know, Sarah always got to say some shit about herself. Basically, the bogus ideas that they had, the only bogus ideas they had, Sarah want to take motherfucking credit for them. Like, Sarah's talking about ideas when we all talk on the phone. Like, girl, okay, the ideas still suck. So, if they came from you, I know they really suck, bitch, because you're slow. Like, I don't know what, like, Sarah, you acting real dumb. I don't know what you've been doing, what's going on, something going in your head, but you're not acting like the old bitch. Like, you having less personality, you acting like... I don't know, but it just give me real airy babs. Like, you probably took a wrong drug or something. Why everybody's talking about Christina on drugs? Y'all need to go check on Sarah. Because why that bitch acting so airheaded and dumb? Like, every scene, she's like, ah, ah. like, what does she be saying? Like, she's talking, but she just be like, ah, yeah, man. Ah, yeah, man. Ah, yeah. 
I'm like, girl, we don't hear you. Like, girl, massage something so your mouth, <laughs> like, so your mouth can move, girl. Like, uh-uh. I mean, that's what I have to know where Sydney just started crying, telling her story about how she was out with this boy, and this dude clocked her tea. If y'all know about clocking tea, this is a little lesson right now. Getting your tea clock is when you out with somebody, and they recognize that you are not the gender that you're trying to portray, even if, you know, you're transgender or something. I know that's your gender, but, bitch, if you out here trying to, you know, look like a woman or a cisgender woman, and they clock you, that bitch, you are a man, bitch, that's in your tea clock, and the best thing is that somebody recognize her and clocked her tea to this dude, and he almost was like did something to her whatever the fuck happened that's a dangerous game shit bitch if you do what you gotta do with him he might have been fantasy and then bitch i don't know what the fuck happened but hey tanisha's like basically they edited her really bad because like she was like while she was like telling story she was like like i don't like her i don't care like they they edited her really just to make it juicier and it didn't kind of work it kind of made it even more like draining because it was like bitch y'all know this shit driving y'all trying to throw tanisha face in and knowing damn well she not gonna look like that and they're talking about a bad story about her like she care about her brand she not gonna go on motherfucking zeus and try to make her face frowned up away when she could have almost died seeing that it's been so many transgender deaths in this motherfucking country since the beginning of the year that people need to start motherfucking talking about it because that's very motherfucking important bitch trans lives matter so bitch uh, if she was going to sit here and make a motherfucking face about some shits, you know damn well she wouldn't because they didn't able to chew her ass up as they did. And then she had to go on live and say, Zeus, oh, Zeus did this, this, and that because you knew, bitch, it was dry and they had to throw something in there and you knew damn well that shit was in there before the fucking show air while you're trying to hop and be like, oh, well, I had to call the... I'm on the phone with the producers right now. Bitch, you watched this shit already, girl. Why do y'all think we dumb? Like, do I need to go back to the park? Uh, like, what? Do y'all think we stupid? Like, do I need to go back to the park? Do I need to go back to the park for real? Really? Hey, it's Christina and her mom talk about her uh, mom, how she did heroin, and how, like, you know, they, they, Christina, <laughs> Christina talking about how she had a drug addiction of Molly Percocets. Hey, Molly Percocets. <laughs> because she not. <laughs> Sarah started crying because she feel like Natalie don't eat her coochie enough and when everybody else in the room, Natalie doesn't need to talk to her every other sentence. And if you don't talk to her every other sentence, then that means she don't love her. And it's just like, girl, Sarah, what is wrong with you, girl? You literally just started busting out crying. Your face not even moving while you crying, girl. You let you... <laughs> Like, no, girl, it's not. Your lips finna bust open, bitch. Stop doing that. The fuck the, what the fuck is that, girl? What the fuck is that, girl? Your lips on the butt the fuck open. Why are you crying like that, girl? She just said, oh, 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 oh. Girl, get so ugly ass the fuck up out of here, girl. Sarah is acting really like crazy over Natalie. I'm guessing like they probably did something again before. I feel like they probably like got, you know, they've been friends for a long time, so they could have got like drunk or something at the club, did some drugs, and like started freaking like the same thing that's going on with Jocelyn Cabaret. But they did it better. Like it's giving more juicier over there than it's giving two old bitches clapping in coochie. Like I'm, I'm that's not a that's not a, a thought that I want to run through my head. The conversation is just really weird at this point. Like everybody just kind of like, what is she talking about? Like she just bust down and just said something. Now they like, we are just friends. Like it's nothing going on like that. I don't believe her. I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't. I like what? I don't understand why would she be that like that attached to you? Where like y'all just friends and it's nothing going on. And that's what they talk talking about. How Sarah lost her dog. That Sydney talking about how she lost her cat. And it's like the conversation is not about business no more. It really wasn't about business in the first place. She talking about she could Sydney couldn't bring her cup because they was drinking. Bitch, this some shit to drink about. If this if I was going to have a conversation to drink to, bitch, this bitch talking about she almost died. Y'all talking about miscarriages with Tanisha. And Sarah talking about how she loved Natalie and she just always loved her. She be smelling her panties while she sleep. Like, if this was a conversation that I would get a liquor and give me a little, a little something to drink, this is a conversation I would do. This is not about business. This is not conducted correctly. Natalie, you talk back acting like you was going to be this big, such, oh, I'm the manager, and I'm not, this is a person, man. Girl, shut your ass up. This is not a fucking business to me, the bitch. This is some fucking footage that y'all trying to get because there's footage in the house. There's people tired of probably seeing this shit. So y'all needed a new scene, and this is what y'all came up with, which sucked. I'm sorry, it sucked. So Judy talking about this not giving what it's supposed to give, literally what everybody is thinking. She said y'all should have done the more real love, like housewives type thing, and she, they should have like everybody go to everybody houses and see how everybody live in and what's going on with everybody. Then they all come together in a setting, like making more about y'all families and what y'all doing, like kind of like an update video. Like that would have been cuter than this. Like then we could have really like you know learned more about everybody than we all fall. We could think about bitch. 
you know, what you got, what you doing at home and how your kids gonna see this and like, bitch, when you get home, talk about your kid, like, bitch, I had to beat this bitch up today. Like, fun. Like, that would've been cute. Like, I would've liked to watch that instead of this. And Seven said, like, she felt the be most beautiful when she had a baby. That was so cute for Seven. I feel like this is really putting Seven in a good light. She probably won't get a lot of endorsements and stuff off of this. Um, she said she loved being, um, pregnant. So everybody like, oh, we all gonna get a baby and that, um, Sydney can, um, have a baby. Like, Sydney, girl, you know damn well you could still have a baby. You act like you ain't got no coochie or no dick, bitch. You could still have a baby. Tell me, oh, I can't have a girl, you can't have, like, you can't carry a baby, bitch. You can have a fucking, and you can actually carry a baby, too. Like, they can put the eggs in her stomach and do all the other shit. Like, that's what she was saying. So it was like, girl, Sydney, shut the fuck up. Go talk about how they gonna add the other bad girls. And this one, I'm like, find the fucking league, because these bitches is dry. Like, these hoes that y'all picked, the original cast, they just throwing out names. Judy, like, this probably how the fuck they made the original cast. Now, just throwing out bitches, don't got no type of correlation of what they gonna do when they get there. Um, so they say Kat, Megan, Amber, and Camilla. Natalie saying, like, you know, she don't like Camilla and shit like that. I hope Camilla to, like, beat her ass or fight her or something because, bitch, we is bored at this point. Um, Natalie's talking about she want to expand her bag so she don't care about having people here and she don't care. Natalie is ready at the same time. She's not finna let Camilla come on her shit and beat her ass, so she might get Camilla just like she had to get Christina. Getting, fighting y'all husbands and doing all this other shit. This bitch been in motherfucking the motherfucking wilderness with the with the great motherfucking um trainers from back in the day, legendary Suwu warriors putting rocks and shit and stacks of bricks and running up mountains and shit, girl. So she is ready for any bitch and any shit to go down. But Tanisha go out with the girls finally. They all go out to this club and shit. It was nice or whatever, but they all showing the clips and shit. And then they get back in the car after the club because that shit was dry as fuck. Sydney starts drama in a van because thank you, Sydney. I'm sorry. Y'all gotta get one up for Sydney Star, because at least this bitch knows this shit is trash. She just like, bitch, fuck it. Why you looking at me, bitch? You a fake... Like, come on now, Sydney. Shake some shit up, please, because we is all bored. Like, come on now. Yeah, this is when y'all got to get Sydney her claps, because she might be an irritating ass bitch, but damn, we was all motherfucking bored, bitch. I was sick of that, sitting in that shit. Tanisha just brought her old ass to the club, not moving. Like, just everybody looked a mess. Just fucking Natalie and Christina in the club right next to each other. This bitch just fucking put a whole rock boot on your forehead, bitch. And you would see her ass standing next to her. Bitch, I would crack the whole bottle inside that bitch here, bitch. It ain't none of that. So that's when they get in the motherfucking um, limo. And that's when um, the driver, like, bitch, you wanna act like a nigga? I'ma beat your ass like a nigga. And it's actually the same dude that was on Johnson Cabaret that got his ass beat by. Um, I think Barbie, when she was trying to leave him in the fucking house, and she was beating his beating the fuck out of him. And now all of a sudden he wanna fight motherfucking Sydney, I mean, I know she a cis gender woman, but bitch, don't be out here acting like you the toughest nigga in the world when you just got your ass beat by a girl like a couple days ago. Like, sit the fuck down so you just got an L, like, recharge. And Sydney, like, bitch, she not scared. Like, what she supposed to be scared of? Because I'm pretty sure, like, Sydney probably got into it with straight niggas before, so, like, that's not some shit that, like, will face her. So, that's when, um, Tanisha start going up for crazy and she like, I will send you home now, bitch. And I will send you home. And Tanisha, like, um, no, Sydney started calling Tanisha, bitch, really. She was just like, she was like, are you talking to me? She was like, oh, shit, I don't know who I'm talking to. Like, like, Sydney just literally stirred the mess up for the show. She just like, she was like, bitch. And then she was like, she was like, who you calling a bitch? I knew shit. You should, are you talking to me? She said, I'm talking to whoever. Like, that bitch literally was like, bitch, this shit is boring. Like, I'm pretty sure people do not want to watch this shit. Like, this is probably just like getting draining for us. She not getting her BGC experience. She in the motherfucking limo, bitch. Let her start some drama. And that's what she did. So, hey, I don't blame her, low key. That's the motherfucking video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. This video was really, I mean, this whole video and this motherfucking thing was a sluice face. Because that's my Johnson Cabaret video I just recorded. I definitely had a lot more fun doing that. So, Make sure y'all go check that one out because it's getting busted on Jocelyn Cabaret. Uh, if y'all want more videos like this, just go like that more stuff on that motherfucker like button. It's, it's, it's disappointing because y'all know how long Bagger Club been a part of me. Y'all know how long Bagger Club like been a part of my channel. Like, girl, y'all just, y'all not giving it a good name. Like, y'all should just added new bitches like what everybody want y'all want y'all should just continue with the fucking show and had a bad girls club baddies atl and had bitches from atl in a fucking house y'all could have had a baddies new york a baddies like y'all could have did it that way but this is the way y'all want to do this old crusty shit we don't give a fuck about it so hey let me know in the comments y'all worst part of this shit it was for me it was for when my worst part was when they was when christina fake run up bitch why would you do like this that was so fucking irritating girl what is you doing that's today's video, and thank gang, since we out, <sighs> bitch, I'm gonna fell asleep.